What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Chase. This is That Sounds Terrible. Today's episode, we take a look at the TC Electronics Dual Rec. Now, this pedal was actually sent to me by Sean Ward from Ward Guitar Cabinets. I'm kind of anxious to try this because from what I understand, this is supposed to be a dual rec in a box. Uh, I haven't used it a whole lot. I kind of got an idea of how well this is. But to be honest, I've only really used it with the uh, the headphones output. Now, I do know it's two channels. We have a, a green channel and a red channel, and we have a built-in boost as well. But you can use this as a preamp. So you have your output goes to the front of a clean power amp or into the effects loop. But we've also got a DI that we can run to like front of house with a built-in cab simulator. You also can adjust whether the boost is uh, pre or post uh, preamp. So you can do it before the preamp or after the preamp. Uh, so I'm probably going to leave it in the pre preamp uh, just before you know the front end because that's kind of typically what I would do with a normal dual rec. We also have a presence knob. It's a little tiny one there. Um, so we're going to try that and see how well it does. I'll probably end up leaving that about noon. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this we're gonna run it into my 100% solid state power amp. I use a orange pedal baby. So we're gonna run that into the pedal baby. That's gonna go into my ISO cab. Uh, so this way we can capture how it's gonna sound as like a mobile rig uh, kind of setup. So, you know, preamp in a box into a, a solid state power amp, a power amp into a ISO cab. This way we're getting real speakers, real mic'd up. But I'm also going to, I think I'm going to run this DI out and I'm going to run that into my interface and see how well that sounds as well so that we can kind of get an accurate reading of, you know, what the built-in cab IR sounds like and kind of go from there. All right, so let's talk about today's recording setup. So for most of this, we're going to use my Chapman ML1 Modern. It's a fantastic guitar. Uh, we've got it loaded with DiMarzio deactivators. Uh, we're going to go into the TC Electronics dual rec. And then we're going to go into the orange pedal baby and into my Mojo Tone ISO cab. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to go from the guitar into the pedal bay or into the dual rec and from the dual rec directly into my audio interface. So that's kind of the setup we're going to do. This way you can get a direct sound. Uh, from the guitar with a power amp and real speakers and from the guitar to the preamp and, and into uh, the uh, interface or front of house or, you know, something similar to that. So.
All right, you guys, so that is going to be the playthrough for the Dual Wreck, again, from TC Electronics. Again, this was sent to me from Sean Ward at Ward Guitar Cabinet, so make sure to stop by and tell him thanks for letting me check it out because I got some real mixed opinions on it. Overall, I think it sounds really good for what it is. Um, <clears throat> it's a really cool pedal. It's got a lot of life to it. Uh, it's pretty close to how my, my single rectifier sounds. It sounds really good. You could use this in a pinch, I think. I think it uh, maybe an early, uh, you know, starting off guitarist or something like that. Maybe bedroom practice, you know, things like that. I think this would sound really cool. It's technically gig worthy uh, because you can plug it into the DI, into the front of house, maybe as a backup or just, you know, take it, have this run out into, you know, your power amp and then run that into the house cab or something like that. But there's a weird frequency or something going on um, that I just wasn't quite comfortable with or vibing with. I don't know, man. Having the tight knob on here is kind of nice, but at the same time, I think that might be where it's kind of messing in with the frequencies a little bit. The built-in boost is pretty good. It doesn't have quite the same kind as if I was using a different pedal. Uh, you know, something kind of somewhere in that context. But overall, I'm really pleased with this. This is pretty cool. I want to know kind of how their other pedals in this uh, category, amp in a box kind of category falls into place and how they sound. What I will notice or, or note to you guys is that the pedals or the, the knobs themselves. So once you dial it in and you switch to the other channel, the knob pay, a position doesn't correlate to it. So it's got a, it's definitely got relays and whatnot or, or short term memory, so to speak, to where when you dial it in, it stays. And when you switch channels, um, I don't know if you noticed that you would see me kind of tweak the knobs left and right to get it to, you know, change the position, uh, which is kind of nice. So overall, uh, this is pretty cool, man. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought overall, and we'll see you in the next one.